Hello, County Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush, and I've been a professor for about 30 years, CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So welcome aboard here, folks. Today, we're studying the lower of cost to market. Now, this is an introductory lesson. This is uh, not advanced at all. There's a little bit more to this. Um, but this lesson is designed for people in their first semester of accounting, probably about week six and studying inventory. And one thing that uh, causes a little bit of confusion is the lower of cost or market. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add up uh, Fred's inventory at what Fred paid for it originally. And then we're going to look at, well, what if Fred had to replace the inventory? How much would that cost? And what we'll do is we're going to decide the lower uh, cost or market based on the entire category. So it's very, very simple. So here's what's going on. We've got snow blowers, we've got chainsaws, and we've got weed whackers. So let's start with the uh, snow blowers. So uh, here's what we're doing. Model one, Fred has two of them and Fred paid $1,000 each. That's actually what Fred paid for them. So that's $2,000. Two times 1,000 is 2,000. Now the current market value, the current market value is exactly the same. Well, we'll multiply it anyways. Two snow blowers at 1,000 each is $2,000. There we go. And let's go down to model two. So model two, there's three of them and uh, they cost Fred 1,200 each. So if you do the math, you get 3,600. And then uh, to replace those snowblowers, I, I know it says current market value, but what we mean in this context is the cost to replace. So three times 1,300, there we go, 3,900. We'll do this again with Model 3. Fred's got one snowblower of Model 3, so one times 2,000 is 2,000. And it looks like the uh, Model 3 is a little cheaper now if you had to replace it, so one times 1,850 is 1850 and let's do the last one here. Uh, model 4, Fred has five of the Model 4s and he paid 1500 each for those. So there we go. And if Fred had to replace them, it cost a little bit more, 1550, so five times 1550. There you go, 7750. Now all we'll do is we'll add up these columns and get little subtotals. So here we are, there's the subtotal for the original cost, 15,100 and the subtotal for the replacement cost or market value, same thing. So all we do here is we just decide, well, which one is cheaper? Which, you know, which one's the lower of the two, the lower of cost or market? Well, the 15,100 is lower. So what we're going to do is the category of snowblowers here, the, the snowblower category, is going to go on our balance sheet at 15,100, the lower of cost or market, easy. So let's do chainsaws here. Same thing with chainsaws. Model one, we got four of them at 350 each. That's how much Fred paid for them. And we've got four chainsaws at 325. And this is how much Fred would have to pay to replace them or uh, you know, to, to buy new ones. And same thing with model two, seven times 650. There you go. And seven times 700. 4,900, so we, we would do the same thing with Model 3. Five times 550 and five times 550. There we go, so all we do once we got that uh, category uh, finished, we just add up the totals. So let's add up the totals here and we get 8,840. Adding up the total for the replacement cost, we get 8,950. And all we're gonna do is choose the lower of the two. And again, the original cost is the lower of the two. That doesn't always happen, but it's happening uh, in this instance. Going down to weed whackers, exact same deal. Exact same deal. I, I'll, I'll just highlight the numbers here, just what we get if we do the math. It's, it's the exact same idea. And the uh, replacement cost, here, there we are, and once we have those multiplied out, we just total up the columns. There you go, total up the column, and we're going to choose which column is lower, and it looks like the replacement cost is lower, so we'll put in there 3,720. So there we are, and uh, finally, to finish it out, we're just going to add up the subtotal. So add up the subtotal for uh, snowblowers, chainsaws, and weed whackers, and here you go. There it is, there's the grand total, folks. It's 27,660. So on the balance sheet, when uh, Fred does his financial statements, 
uh, his inventory will be listed at 27,660. And this is at the lower of cost or market. And we based it on uh, you know, the totals of the uh, different categories. Now, the accounting rules, they don't specify exactly how to do this, but uh, th this is just another way to do it. So if this video helped you out, let me know. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Also check out accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all these videos uh, listed out by topic and that way you can find it easier. So until next time, over and out.